what they discovered was there has not been significant change in human genetics over the past 40 years, but the spread and increase of autoimmune diseases exactly follows the spreading of the Western diet and the increased consumption of highly inflammatory processed junk foods around the globe. New research shows key the key to global spread of autoimmune disease is, in fact, as you're mentioning, the Western diet and the inflammatory foods that we're all consuming. Absolutely. You know, it, the science keeps catching up with what we've been seeing for over a decade now uh, about the power of nutrition to create disease and to reverse disease. And that's the thing about the truth, is the truth comes out and you can't refute it. It just, if you keep repeating the truth, it will come out and it will uh, it will become what becomes the, the normal at some point, right? It was like, you know, they knew back in the 50s that cigarettes caused cancer and emphysema, at least the scientific community did, but nobody accepted it for a long time because they were addicted to cigarettes. The doctors were addicted to cigarettes. Nobody wanted to believe it or accept it. But eventually, about 25 years later, uh, the FDA finally came out and said, yes, science has consistently, repeatedly shown this is a problem and you guys should really stop. And nowadays it's, it's, it's shocking to see someone holding a cigarette, right? Uh, and I think that will happen with diet one day too. But yes, the research that I was talking about on my channel is new research coming out of a research organization in London where they were trying to figure out, looking at the genetics of people with autoimmune disease, if they could figure out the genetic reason why autoimmune diseases are increasing in populations that already had it and are spreading to areas of the world where it didn't exist before. For example, um, inflammatory bowel diseases didn't exist in the Middle East years ago, but now it's becoming a new epidemic of inflammatory bowel diseases. Where's that coming from? And what they were doing is they're looking at how much has the genetics changed over the past 40 years have people's genes changed enough to, to explain why we have more autoimmune disease than ever? And what they discovered was there has not been significant change in human genetics over the past 40 years, but the spread and increase of autoimmune diseases exactly follows the spread and increase uh, of the spreading of the Western diet and the increased consumption of highly inflammatory processed junk foods around the globe. And that was what they came out with. Unfortunately, what they said as part of the discussion, at the any time you publish research, you have to have a discussion of your results and what you think the impact is. And what they said is that they don't believe it's possible to stop the spread of the Western diet, but they're gonna work on more medications that might be able to manipulate the genes better to suppress the triggering of autoimmune disease by the diet. And, and, and we're, we're always underestimating people's willingness to do what's right for themselves, you know, that you could just stop eating that stuff <laughs> rather than take a medicine that's gonna manipulate your genome and who knows what that's gonna cause. We're gonna start getting gills or like what? <laughs> Like, let's, let's not do that. Let's just change our diets and empower people with the right information so that they can do the right thing, right? I mean, imagine instead of smoking, instead of telling people to stop smoking, they're like, well, we're just going to manipulate your genes to try to make you get, get less cancer. Come on. We've got to empower people and not underestimate their willingness to take care of themselves uh, if the scientific community comes to a consensus that that is the most powerful thing they can do. 